Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, my hair is a little bit different. I decided to throw in some full locks. Those that follow me on Instagram or some of you that know me personally know that I do like to switch my hair up a lot. And I decided to throw in some full locks for the winter time because it's cold here in Boston. I took out the trash the other morning and by the time I got inside, my hair was frozen. Like, no joke, my curls were frozen. So I was like, it's time to do something with your hair and give your hair a break. So in this video, I'll show you how I personally like to do my full locks, what hair I personally like to use, what techniques I like to use, and I hope this video helps you. And also it might help your hair to give your hair a little break from the harsh weather conditions that's going on right now. And yeah, that's about it. Altogether, I believe I spent about $52. I mentioned that later on in the video. And you'll also see what products I use to set my hair, how I set my hair before putting my full locks in. And if you wanna see how I got to the end, to this end result, keep on watching. All right guys, so let's get into what you need. So obviously you're gonna need hair. I like to use Marley Twist hair, Jamaica braid hair, Jamaica braiding hair. It doesn't matter, there's so many different names for it. So I got the Bobbi Boss brand because this was really the only brand that was at my beauty supply store. It was $5.99 a pack and I got the shade color in two. And this is what it is out the package. I like to use two strands per goddess lock. And for the ends of my hair, I like it more curly than wavy and I love Free Trust because it's a great brand and I like to use their Go Go Curl in the color shade four. And I got this $6.99 per pack, but you don't need that many packs. You really only need about two. And here's what it is outside the package. You can tell that the color is lighter and I love it that way. I just like the gradient because when the sunlight hits your hair, it's, it's just really cute. Also, I like to use a paddle brush because I do like to brush through the braiding hair before installing and Eco Styler Gel for the roots of my hair and for parting to make sure my parts are neat and my hair can stay neat a little bit longer. And obviously I love to use a moisturizer and I love Crew Nature's Argon Buttermilk. This keeps my hair moisturized the whole entire time I have in any protective style. You're also gonna need a lighter for the ends of your hair and it can be cute and fun just to make the process easier. Also have clips on hand for parting and just going throughout the installation, it makes it easier. And also you will need a crochet needle. You can get this from any beauty supply store or Amazon. Starting off, I like to wash my hair. I always co-wash for protective styles just so I can retain the most moisture possible. And then I blow dry my hair on low heat. I threw some heat protectant in it before and some oil. And I don't like to get it bone straight, but just stretched out. And this is the last step. So when you look like buckwheat, from Little Rascals, that's how you know that your process is done for the preset and now you can move on to actually installing the faux locks. All right, so typically with any type of protective style, I always like to work from the back to the front, whether it be faux locks, whether it be braids, whether it be Senegalese twists, that's just how I like to work. So I left these two pieces out for you guys so I can do a demonstration on how to faux lock your hair the easiest way and the most efficient way without having to go back and redo a faux lock after doing the whole thing. And that's normal, it happens. I'm a perfectionist, so I go back over faux locks all the time. It is a little time consuming, I will say, but overall, this look lasts you a long time. I wanna say this lasts me at least a month, for real. I don't keep it in for that long, but that's how long it probably would last me. You should keep your protective styles in for more than over two and a half weeks. I would say three weeks is like definitely pushing it. But anyway, enough of the talking, let's get into it. So let me move closer for you guys. So here's my section. So obviously you're gonna unravel your section. It depends on obviously your hair type and you know, like how thick your hair is, how thin your hair is to how you want your parts. I prefer my parts to be, I mean, they're not small, but they're not like super big either. I feel like it's just enough to, you know, make it look decent. I also don't like doing super small parts. I did that last summer with box braids that I was rocking a lot, but that did more damage than good to my hair. Oh, I just put some um, Cream of Nature Argan, bar bleh, excuse me, Argan Buttermilk on my hair, and now I'm gonna go in with some Eco Styler Gel and just put that right on my roots. You don't need much, and don't put much because when you take these down, you want the process to be as easy as possible. Now, 
that's already set my section is already set so now i'm gonna go in with my go go curl but for you guys it's whatever ending pattern you decided to choose for your faux locks i like mine more on the curly side some people prefer theirs to be wavy but what i've noticed with the wavy um braiding hair it tends to lose its curl after a while and then you kind of just have like straight hair on your ends and nobody wants that that's not fun so for this part you're going to braid your hair or you can twist it i prefer to braid my hair and i do that only because it lasts longer and it just it just helps overall it just makes it easier let's put it that way i feel like braids obviously like you have more security as what and how your style is going to last so you're going to take your end piece to your full locks and you're going to braid it into your hair or you can twist it into your hair i the last time i did full locks i twisted it into my hair and it came out the same so i don't think it matters i switched to braiding this time only because that's just what it was easier and I try, wanted to try something different. So that's what it is. So I'm just gonna braid this into my hair. This part's a little tricky, so don't be afraid to take your time with it. I get frustrated all the time. Like this step, I feel like I have to redo all the time. And then you're just gonna literally like, and don't be afraid of the tangles. Don't be afraid to like, move anything and i think that's what's best too don't ever any type of protective style if you start to get knots or tangles as you're braiding or locking in your style make sure you go in each time and just get rid of any of the tangles because you're just going to do more damage than good and also if you're setting a protective style with tangled hair it's going to stay tangled the whole three weeks you have your style and you don't want that trust me you don't want that it's happened to me before so I braided it in it doesn't have to be perfect when I tell you it does not have to be perfect it doesn't because you're not gonna see this at all you're not gonna see it so now we're gonna go in with the Jamaican braid hair or whatever hair you want to use I like Jamaican braid it looks more natural as the hairstyle starts to go out and it looks more natural as you know when you lay on your hair and it kind of gets that fuzzy look it just looks good it doesn't ever really look bad what I like to do is I like to take my brush and then, I don't know if you guys can see this, I'll just kind of, you're obviously you're not going to get a smooth run through with the brush and I mean that's obvious because it's not human hair, but I like to do this because it kind of pushes the hair out a little bit more. It also makes it easier to wrap your hair around the braid. Trust me, I say do this step. A lot of people don't do this step, but I do because it, it just makes it easier. Like, you'll see. It just makes it so much easier. Then, this is also another tricky part. <laughs> you're going to take your crochet needle and you're going to crochet this into the braid. So, I'm just going to put that through. Put the piece in. Make sure all the hair is on there so it's an easy pull through. And once that's done, you're just gonna separate it. So you're gonna leave one half. Okay, never mind. We're gonna do that over. Do you see what I'm talking about? Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I finally got it in. It took me two more tries after that, so it will take you a while, especially if you're first starting off. I'm not gonna lie, it will take you a while, but. The style is worth it, I'm telling you. So anyway, we crocheted our hair through our braid and now we're literally, you're just gonna take the hair and you're gonna wrap it all the way down. So take one of the pieces, it doesn't matter which. I like to wrap forward. That's just what's natural to me. Whatever is natural to you, go with it. So just take it and then you're gonna wrap and then keep holding it up. And you wanna make sure you're getting close to your root because this is a protective style and you do want it to last. Now, I'm not saying you have to make it super tight, but you have to make sure that it's not loose because you want this to last you at least, at least two weeks. So you're gonna wrap and then you're gonna keep wrapping. Let me move closer for you guys. And the key to wrapping, you don't, like when you wrap, you're gonna keep wrapping, but don't twist the hair so the hair that you're wrapping like don't twist it don't you know how you do a twist out and you twist your hair don't do that because you want this to be flat because remember we're doing full locks we're not doing you know sending glue twists or anything you want this to be 
flat. You see how it's almost flat, not really. The beginning it's gonna look like this, but it gets better on the way down. But you're just gonna keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. And if you see a mistake, don't be afraid to cover it up. So like I said, you see where we put the go-go curl in? It's kind of popping out a little bit because we didn't braid it as neatly as we should, which doesn't matter, like I said. How you braid it, it doesn't matter. But you can just cover it up. So wherever you're wrapping, just take the hair and you can cover it up. And I think that's one thing I like about faux locks is you can basically cover up any mistakes you make and just go back and edit. <laughs> I'm saying edit, like we're talking about a picture. <laughs> we're not, we're talking about hair. And it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, because locks in general aren't perfect. And that's how you want it to look. You want it to look natural. <clears throat> Excuse me. You want it to look natural. You don't want it to look like you have a protective style in, if that makes sense. I'm losing my voice, by the way, so sorry. And now we're going to move on to this side, which is the same thing. We're going to do the same thing.
Okay, so we're done. We're almost done. Bill's happy. I'm happy. We're about to eat soon. These are the ends of your faux locks, goddess locks, whatever you want to call it. I feel as though I always trim my ends because I feel like this is so extra. Like you don't need all of this at the ends of your locks. So what I'll do, if I have like a really long one like this, I'll just take my scissors and you're just gonna cut it off. Try not to do like a blunt cut. Just try to almost, you know, like shave it off because it's gonna give you more of a natural release. Also, when you have pieces like this, where you can see the Jamaican hair to the go-go curl hair or whichever type of pattern you have, you can always cut this off because at this point, this is already burned. So you can do whatever you want. You can cut it off, whatever. What I like to do is I'll cut off a little bit. Like I'll leave a little bit of the Jamaican hair, right? So it's gonna look like that. You guys can see it. And I'll cut this, but later on, I'm gonna take some mousse and then twirl it all around. So it won't even look like it's two different textures. And you're gonna do the same thing, just cut off just a little bit. I like to make them all even too. So you can kind of do, I like to do mine in a V. So if it goes, it's gonna be shorter around here and then get longer towards the back. So I'll be right back and I'll show you guys how it's all done and it's finished. It's really simple. Just cut, cut wherever you want, cut how short you want and you'll be good. Okay guys, so this is the final look. This is how it turned out. My backdrop has been giving me the most trouble lately. So that's why it's not there. But this is the final look. I'll stand up for you guys so you can get a view of the bottom. Let me turn around, give you the back. Let me see if I can bend down and show you guys that. So all together, it took me about seven hours. I would say six, I would say six hours. It was like six hours and 15 minutes. The first time I did these, it took me like eight to nine hours. So it will take you some time if it's your first time, but these usually last me up to three and a half weeks. I don't keep them in for that long, but by the time I'm taking them down, my hair still looks pretty fresh. And in contrast from like box braids to faux locks, I would say I prefer faux locks mainly because they're lighter on the hair. They don't feel so heavy and they don't pull down as much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you, you know, to start doing your own hair and save some money. Altogether, I paid I believe it came out to like $50 for the hair. And this is a $50 hairstyle that's gonna last you for about a month. And that sounds like a good deal. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'll see you at the next one.